On April 21st, 2019, I'm going to begin crowdfunding my short film Changelings using the cryptocurrency and social network Steam. All right, everyone out there, welcome back to Distant Signal and another video. Today is day four. It is the fourth vlog entry of my 90 day marathon for changelings in the run up to the crowdfunding beginning April 21st, 2019. So why crowdfunding? Well, raising money for a short film is really difficult. Raising money for anything is really difficult. I've crowdfunded before. I've, I've had successful crowdfunding campaigns, but this is my largest one to date, uh, personally for me, myself and I. I'm sure the question in your mind is, how much, Phil? How much is it going to take to make Changelings, this horror film you have in your brain? Well, in short, $17,000. That's the budget as it stands now. There are ways of bringing that budget down, I'm sure, but there's definitely ways of making it more expensive. On this particular film, I would like to pay people for their skills and talents and so that I have enough money to actually make it look good. It's hard to make something look good with no money. As the weeks go by, I'm going to refine that budget. We'll see if I need to increase the budget. Hopefully I can lower it. Plan A is to raise the money exclusively on the Steam network by posting and by using a crowdfunding service called Fundition. Using the Steam platform, I will crowdfund there for 30 days. And if I can't raise enough money using the Steam cryptocurrency and my postings over the course, you know, before and during the crowdfunding, I'm then going to switch to plan B, which is to use a more traditional crowdfunding network like Kickstarter or GoFundMe or Indiegogo. I think that it's important to plan for success and I don't want to fall on a sword uh, necessarily, right? I don't want to say it's only, it's got to be Steam or nothing or it's got to be crypto or nothing. Uh, there have been films made exclusively on cryptocurrency. I believe there are three features that have been produced using Ethereum. I have to research that. That's for another segment later, another, another vlog entry. But I, you know, I want to plan for success. And so I think part of that is to have a backup plan in case the first one doesn't really you know, work out. Now, why Steam? Um, there are other video and media distribution platforms out there. You've got Creative Chain, you've got Library. There's Flixo, which I've reviewed. So check it out here if you want to see my review of Flixo. There's also DLive. And uh, there's, a, there's a couple others out there that, that deal with distributing media via the blockchain. None of them really quite satisfy what I need as a filmmaker, as a creative artist, as someone who really enjoys social media. Steam is not only a cryptocurrency, it also powers a social network. Cryptocurrency has the power to bring creators and uh, consumers closer together than ever before. Cryptocurrencies and blockchains have the power to remove middlemen, preserve property rights, and make payments between producers and consumers seamless almost invisible. Middlemen, because you're removing payment processors, you don't have to rely on centralized media servers. You can make, upload, and serve your content anywhere in the world across multiple servers so that censorship becomes almost impossible and the consumption of your message and your media becomes inevitable. The blockchain has the power to preserve property rights. I can use the blockchain to demonstrate chain of title that I'm the person who created something at this particular time, at this particular place, because anytime, say, I use Steam to post a script or uh, an update on the budget, it produces an unchangeable record that, that demonstrates that, you know, I, Phil Abaticola, I, the owner of Distant Signal, created this thing, and you can trace it all the way back. It also tells a story, right? So that's the one thing I really like about Steam is that not only does it do all these great things, it can replace Instagram and Facebook and Twitter it can replace SoundCloud. It really is a way of producing something for consumption. I can serve a unit of something to somebody else in exchange for cryptocurrency, but it also becomes my story. Another thing that cryptocurrency does is smart contracts. Steam can't provide that operation yet. That's somewhere down the line with their smart media tokens, the development of which was put on hold when the cryptocurrency market bottom completely fell out. That's coming in the future on Steam. Uh, the films that did use cryptocurrency to produce their product were done on Ethereum. And Ethereum is a smart contract platform where, um, like a contract, you know, the contract, instead of being on a piece of paper and then mediated by lawyers, and large law firms and the government. Uh, the contracts are executed, preserved, and changed on the blockchain so that there's always a record and consensus can be worked out between different parties uh, using automated, uh, automated processes. So Steam can't do that yet, but it soon will be able to do that. But more importantly, Steam is just a social network and it makes payments seamless. And that's the other aspect of, of the blockchain that I think that has the power to really revolutionize making media and films for people 
is that um, it removes payment processors. When a user likes something that I've posted on the Steam network, depending on their voting power, determines the amount of money that I get from that vote. So instead of having to use a payment processor like say PayPal, when I like something on Steam, my voting power determines how much someone gets paid. So the payments are seamless. Now, maybe it's not always going to be an X amount of dollars, right? So if I post something to the social network side of Steam, there's no sale. So I can't set a price. I know that there are ways of doing that. But on the social network itself, I just post something and someone likes it and I get paid for it. That's really cool because we waste numerous hours on social media like Facebook and Twitter, but they retain all the value. You don't get anything back. But when I post on Steam, every penny that I earn on Steam is going to go towards changelings. So really my efforts aren't wasted. And that's going to create a really unique and intimate relationship between the consumer and the producer of media. They just have to like your stuff and you get paid. Now, payments will never be equal in that regard unless I set a price and have some sort of paywall using Steam. But if I don't want a paywall, uh, right now when I post something on YouTube, even if I get 10,000 likes or 10,000 views or 10 million views because my channel's been demonetized because I don't have enough followers, I'll never see a penny of that that value. But on Steam, if I post it, if I post anything, I get to participate in some of that value. And as a filmmaker, as a as someone who spends a lot of time and a lot of their, you know, a lot of his own money making stuff, that's important to me. I find the advertising models behind Facebook and Twitter and other platforms like them to be a little exploitative, a little unfair. We make all the content that gives them all the data that they can use to sell to make money for themselves. And meanwhile, we get a really neat way of communicating, but it's not that novel at this point. Um, and meanwhile, they enrich themselves. With cryptocurrency and these, and these cryptographic networks, there's a chance for the small artist to at least have a small piece of the pie to get something, not just likes or thumbs ups or hearts. I think it's important that they're compensated for their time if, if, you know, if their product and if what they're making is resonating with people and do it in a way that doesn't require a middleman. All the value will get transferred to the artist. I think that that is a really admirable goal. I think that's really important for the future of commerce. So the social network and the cryptocurrency and the payment processor, they're all sort of the same thing. There's no PayPal I gotta, I gotta log out to or log into. There's no visa I have to use. I have my cryptographic key that keeps my account secure. And then I can use that to spend money however I want to whomever I want. If I just want to send a few shekels to some artist that I think made a neat painting or a, a neat little movie, I just have to hit like, voila, he gets paid. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, effortless, seamless. It's almost invisible. I think that that is really exciting technology. I can use DTube or Vim for streaming. I can use SteepShot for my Instagram. I can use Steam Peak as my Facebook or busy.org as my Facebook or Twitter. Everything I need is on the Steam blockchain and they all work in harmony together. There are some bugs, it is still a beta platform, but overall it has really everything I need to tell a visual story in a format that is unchanging and linear and that establishes firm ownership over the material that I'm producing, makes payments super easy, seamless with just the mere liking of content, and it removes middlemen from the experience of consuming media. Now, like I said before, every post I make to the Steam blockchain, I'm going to take whatever money I earn and put that towards changelings. If you go to my website, thesignalisstrong.com, you'll see a little thermometer up there that shows you how much I've made so far. Every penny helps when it comes to making a film on your own on a shoestring budget. Finition itself is a really nice platform. It's very similar to other platforms like Kickstarter or Indiegogo but you're paid exclusively through cryptocurrency. I think you can even use credit cards to buy crypto through Fundition and then use that to send me cryptocurrency instantly. You're able to do either a one-off crowdfund like my short film Changelings, or you can utilize a service just like Patreon or Subscribestar or Bitbacker. You can set up monthly donations so that you can have predictable income for the foreseeable future. So for all those reasons, and the fact that I think Steam is just really cool, I'm going to be using Steam to run the first round of my crowdfunding campaign for Changelings on April 21st. Everything that I earn as I post to the Steam platform is going to go to Steam. Check out the thermometer on my website, thesignalisstrong.com. Check out Fundition. If you're a creator, if you're a filmmaker, I recommend checking out the Steam platform. I think it has a lot of power to liberate filmmakers. The more power we can put into the individual creator's hands, the better and more powerful and stronger the film industry will be. Filmmaking is really becoming an individualized 
uh, endeavor. I mean, YouTube has really demonstrated that you just really need yourself and a camera. You don't even need that much to tell a decent story. I get caught up in wanting things to be bigger, more cinematic. I really want to work with a team and I really want to make something that you, is exciting. I want to make changelings really exciting and thrilling and scary. I think it would be a lot of fun to make something on the Steam blockchain with the Steam blockchain now and forever, if you will. And I think that Steam or something like Steam and Fundition are really going to be the future of media and filmmaking and, and connecting creators to their audiences. You know, there are rumors that Facebook is going to create their own tokenized system. They're going to have their own cryptocurrency, but no, they can take their shit coin and shove it. You know where. Fell out. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.